sunny June, I heard the birds were singing But I tossed and turned a feeling I can't explain No girl in town told me why she have to look my way Wanted to throw some paper, get drunk with my friends Do some damage to my brain But then she came along, one smile and I felt Why do I gotta be so lucky? Why do you have to be so pure? Question all my good intentions But with you, oh, I'm so sure Tasting the fruit and smell the flowers Just bad at night and girl, I'm yours Cause in the garden, that's your skin I'll be dreaming, that's for sure Tell me why, tell me why, tell me why, tell me why You've been on my mind Oh my gosh, I just remember I needed my passport for today <sighs> Passport, 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 passport at my parents' house Um, I need to bring some sort of official document <laughs> Oh my god, I love my life. This is really not what I needed today. Driver's license, issue ID, school ID with a photograph. That plus social security account number card. Oh man, I'm gonna owe my parents so bad for this one. Yes? Um, is, are you at home still? Yes. I have the biggest favor to ask you. What do you think? Can you wake Doug up and have him drive my passport to me? I need it for the first day. Oh, okay. So, do you need it right in the morning? Can yeah. You, can you have them? No, I need it. Like, I need it. Okay. Where's your passport? It's in the top drawer of my big dresser. I'm literally so sorry. I just remembered that I, like, need this to sign this form. And I looked at the list of other documents and I can't, I don't have like my social security card or anything else I can bring. Oh my God, you guys, this morning has taken a dramatic turn. I need to sign like this important document with HR today. And I was just remembering that I needed to bring my passport. Well, my passport's at home at my parents' house. I obviously don't have time to double back. So I was like, okay, I owe them one. They're gonna have to bring me the passport. And then they couldn't find my passport anywhere. I, I swear I put it in like the same place. So I don't know where it is. And so I was like, okay, we gotta abort the mission. You have to bring me my social security card. So they're literally driving, Doug is driving right now at like 6, 10 in the morning to bring me the social security card. I have to pack my lunch. I was really supposed to go to their house after skiing and now I know why. But hopefully this is why you live close to your parents and they're with me sometimes. I literally, I owe them a bajillion times. I'm gonna buy them dinner or flowers or something. Bad daughter of the year award, but at least I remembered before because I just don't, I just don't want anything to happen like on the first day. I just wanna have all my stuff together. Oh, I don't even know if I mentioned this. Happy first day of me starting my job as a pediatric oncology nurse. Obviously things are off to a fantastic start, so we're doing really, really great. I mean, there are bigger problems and I could probably figure this out a different day. I just wanna be on top of my stuff and it's not that hard to like bring what's asked of you. <sighs> okay, let's pack our lunch. We're getting the bad thing out of the way first so that we can just have a fantastic rest of our day. I'm gonna pack myself some raspberry heart cookies. We're gonna cut up this apple. I'm not gonna chop my finger off in my stress. Here is my first day lunch. I might throw some chips in here, but we got apples, kombucha, the go-go squeeze, little cookies, baby bell, delicious salad. I'm gonna get a fork. I need like a smaller water bottle. Most definitely. I don't know if that'll fit in there. Maybe I'll just hold the water bottle. So I'm gonna go downstairs and wait for Doug. I'm probably just gonna enjoy today and soak it in so I won't get much footage for you. Ooh, he just texted me. He's three minutes away, perfect. I'll let you know how it goes after today and I'll give you the full recap. Mostly just orientation today, so I'm not actually on the floor, but I'm gonna be getting my badge and signing stuff in HR, getting a whole tour of the unit, probably just meeting a bunch of people. At least I'm nice and awake. This is what happens when the ski coach exhaustion and crazy schedule gets to you. You just like don't have enough time to prepare, but doesn't mean you can't make it happen. So we made it happen. It's gonna be a good day. I will talk to you guys after today. When you stay, when you stay, when you stay, when you stay, just one more night. When you're there, the despair is nowhere to be found And this all my life <laughs> I owe you I owe you big time, thank you, you. So I dream <laughs> thank about you, you. Alright, I'm here, I'm parked, I'm on time. So I'm gonna go meet up with who's giving me my new orientation instructor. And uh, yeah, there's two entrances. I don't know which one I'm actually meeting her at because there's like two different floors. So I'm like, which one is the main entrance? So we'll see. Um, hopefully I'll figure it out, but I have 10 minutes. Let's do it. You guys, we did it. We survived day one. It went so well. Honestly, I can just already tell I'm gonna love it. 
it is like 7 20 right now and i'm trying to make it to my tennis class so we're gonna skirt skirt out of here and uh go play some tennis and i'll talk to you guys probably either later tonight or tomorrow morning i'll give you a full review of what happened for now let's try to go to tennis caught in someone's orbit turning upside down gravity is spinning me the whole I'm way you. thank you for i could use some deeper roots and solid ground Alrighty, you guys. Somehow we managed to survive this long day. Currently 10 o'clock and I'm having dinner. What a good day we've had. I'm like, where do I even begin? We started the morning with the tour of the unit, which was really fun to actually see. It's a 21 bed unit. I got to meet some other nurses who are also going to be orienting at the same time that I am. And it was nice to be like instant friends. Overall, such a win for today. I went to HR. I brought my social security card. I got my badge picture, which isn't that cute, which reminds me, I feel like my badge is like in my car. I'm not gonna go back and get it. It's ready for tomorrow, whatever. Yeah, the like lighting was super weird, so the picture turned out bad, but who cares? We did a lot of modules today, so uh, I'll show you what I took notes on. I'm having some Tom Ka soup from last night. Good thing I planned ahead for my last minute dinner. We got a whole binder that's like beautifully organized and it has all of my orientation stuff, my schedule, how to log into all the different sites, basic things to know about the unit. So that was really nice. I got the essentials of pediatric hematology and oncology nursing handbook. So that's gonna be our core curriculum that I'm gonna use for a lot of my learning. Good thing I brought my favorite journal of all time. This is from Target. I have like all of my NCLEX stuff in here, but since I recently got this, I'm using it for all of my onboarding stuff. So we took a lot of notes today. We took that page and here and here. More notes. We basically did a basic overview of all of the like main diagnoses that we would see in hematology oncology and kind of like the basics of bone marrow and hematopoiesis and some of the symptom management things that we do a lot of like myelosuppression information we talked about pediatric palliative care which was really interesting i loved learning about that we talked a lot about how to communicate with families overall really good learning day and i don't feel overwhelmed i feel really excited i genuinely love everyone that i got to interact with today so i feel like that was such a win as well i just know that this is like a good decision it's gonna be hard there's a lot to learn and i could feel overwhelmed if i wanted to overall i feel really supported and i feel like i'm gonna be really happy here long term. I have epic training tomorrow. So tonight the plan is going to be to eat this food, post some Instagram story updates for you guys because I've been dead silent all day. And then I'm going to try to like put some of my stuff away, pack my lunch. I have to finish some of my epic pre-training modules because we have epic training for the next two days. We worked on the modules for an hour today and I'm still only 65% of the way done. So I have at least another half hour of work to do. Then I have another 16 hours of training on epic which is our charting system. I feel like I'll be happier if I get it done tonight and I don't have to go in tomorrow until eight and then I only go from eight to four. So I feel like that's a win. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow and we continue this journey, our first week as a nurse. I can't believe we survived today. I hope I remember this day for the rest of my life. Good night, you guys. It is snowing really hard outside and it's really beautiful to see. I'm actually like sad that I'm gonna be inside. It's gorgeous. I literally, I have to take a picture of this. It's so pretty. It's so funny because I see snow so much at the mountain that it's like, you know, almost not even special. But when it's falling at home here in Portland, I'm just obsessed with it. And it's so light and fluffy. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm pretty proud of my outfit. Seafoam figs, hokas. I found this seafoam long sleeves that I've had since high school and then I have my little mountain hardware vest on. And I feel, I feel kind of like a nurse. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like really into this outfit. I need to get some more vests so I can wear vests more because I'm just obsessed with vests right now. But I will link this one down below because it's really warm and cozy and it has pockets that are zippered in it. Lunch today, we got a little yerba mate from Trader Joe's. I, for the longest time, didn't know that Trader Joe's sold these, so. This, and they're pretty affordable. This is a hibiscus and citrus one. Carrots and ranch. My Takis, the Trader Joe's Takis. Organic mango fruit bar from TJ's. The raspberry hearts from TJ's packed. Those are delicious. I have some apples, which reminds me I'm gonna get a baby bell cheese. For my main entree, Trader Joe's Greek salad. I've been eating this for years and it's one of my favorites. Um, I feel like that's enough snacks for today, but I'm a little bit 
nervous that I'm going to be snacking like crazy because this class is about to be low-key boring. I'm going to learn a lot. It's going to be great, but it's like 16 hours of epic for the next two days. And last night, the training that I had to do, I kept like falling asleep and I forgot that I had to like toggle with it. So I didn't finish the training until 1230 at night. So tonight's goal is to get more than six hours of sleep because the past two nights, I've gotten a really minimal amount of sleep. I don't know how I'm still functioning, but it's going to catch up to me. So I need to like actually get my eight hours tonight. I'm going to bring some gummy bears because you know, handy to bribe your way through the lecture. That's what I did yesterday. And one of my managers like brought me, brought us candy and I was eating so much candy. And it was like the good stuff too, all the sour candy. They know what's up in Pete's world. They know what the good candy is. That is the plan for today. Obviously it's snowing, so I'm gonna try to leave at 7.30 just to give myself a little bit more time. I have to go pay for my parking online too. And I forget which parking garage I'm gonna end up. So I might just pay when I get there. At my hospital, it's $15 a day to park, which is actually ridiculous. And because I won't get paid for like another month, every time I pay for this parking, I'm just like so annoyed, but it's fine. It's all fine on nights. You don't have to pay. So that's the one perk of the night shift. Okay, let's go. Well, it's official. We survived day two of work and day one of the epic training. I actually learned a lot and it finished like 30 minutes early, which is nice. So I'm going to get out of here because it's a snow day and it's actually finally sticking on the ground. I'm excited to see what it looks like outside. So well, let's go home and enjoy the rest of our nights. Maybe like do our laundry, something human, productive. So far, so good. But ain't no problem. Well, it's official. We are experiencing Portland's first snow of the year, like actual snow. So everyone, of course, is freaking out. I left at 4.40. I've been driving for 22 minutes. It usually takes me like 10 minutes to get home. So the traffic is really bad. And I will say I was kind of dumb and I forgot to get gas last night before this happened. So I'm going to get gas right now just in case because you're never supposed to have below a quarter tank, especially in inclement weather. So we're gonna go find gas right now, even though it's gonna take me a sec. Not a winning on this side, we don't fuck with that side. Pussy got a rap vibe, boy that shit blessed. Get the peace for the black guy, not a contest. Put the vibes high, not a pair of shoe vests. I'm a free fall, you could call it like a- Well you guys, it is officially a snow day. A real legit Portland snow day. I'm gonna show you guys outside how much snow we have. It's like actually building up pretty thick on the side there. I have just been, watching people try to drive in this and it's been really entertaining and i'm trying to convince my parents to come hang out with me because i feel like a snow day by yourself is just very boring so i'm like come over i'll make you food but i don't know if they're actually gonna come but at the same time i'm also cleaning my apartment so i'm trying to be productive because my life has been in shambles and actually my entryway looks pretty together considering so i'm about to fold all of my laundry right here and then keep cleaning and like putting stuff away and i have to figure out how to clock in and out for the past couple days so i do have some stuff to do. I have training tomorrow and there's no way it's supposed to be canceled except for there's two of us, my friend and I in the class and then the instructor. So if the instructor can't get to us, then it may be canceled. I don't really know what's gonna happen tomorrow, but we're gonna find out. Should be an interesting day. I feel like tennis is gonna get canceled tomorrow. I don't know about my award ceremony for my ski team is also tomorrow. It's just a classic Portland snow day. I kind of love it because everyone just gets crazy and the chaos is just a little bit exciting. We're home safe and I had to finally turn on my heater. I usually never turn on the heat, but it's actually kind of cold in here. So I'll probably talk to you guys tomorrow in what is bound to be an eventful day. <laughs> Oh, that guy's flying. It's a skier. He's got the snow tires. There's our snow day. Just waiting on a call to see if I have to go in. My hospital is on my operations till noon. Now we wait. 
updates, still no news. My manager said that we shouldn't leave the house until we have actual updates. So I'm just chilling in bed. I opened up the window so I could at least like look at the snow outside and see if like cars are sliding around because it's low key entertaining. So I'm grateful at least for my miniature snow day. Even if I have to go in at noon, um, I'm still excited. Cause right now we're on modified operations till noon and I feel like I fall into the not necessary personality. <gasps> People are going on a wintry walk. Just really wish I was with someone so that we could go adventure and all this. It's so pretty out. I'm watching her walk and it's like at least five inches, which is honestly wild. This is like a lot of snow for Portland. Typically we freak out and I'm like, huh, rolling my eyes because it's only an inch, maybe two. But this is like a decent amount of snow. So I'm like, <laughs> it's so fun. My friend nostalgia, I found you when I heard the sweet sound of it's official class is canceled. It's a snow day. This is not how I thought that my first week of work would end, but I'm not mad about it. I actually woke up at 6.30 and I wasn't really able to go sleep in, which is fine. Now that I've had my good news, I've just been calling people. I called Katie Mack. I talked to my dad. I'm trying to convince Doug to like come hang out with me so we can go on a winter walk, but for now, I'm gonna like finish cleaning up. I'm trying to decide if I should start another video and do like my little apartment hall organization because it just seems like a fun snow day activity. I might do that because I really need to like finish my organization. I also probably will work on some modules for work because I'm supposed to get eight hours in over the weekend. So I might just get started on some of those modules and keep track on my phone of when I'm clocking in and clocking out because I was trying to do the clock in thing through Kronos and it didn't work last night. I wonder if I have to be connected to my hospital server to actually sign up for it. I'm not sure. It did not work out. So I was not able to clock in and clock out. That's okay. I'm like going to keep track of all my hours. So it'll be good. I'm going to clean this and then we'll keep going with our day. Like Eric and finally came to come like, with me in the snow. I needed a friend. Not a snow day without a friend, you know? <laughs> that, oh my, it's total. <gasps> they were going way too fast. All right, you guys, it's officially time to do some work. So Erica came over, we had our lovely snowy walk, then we went to Trader Joe's and I was working on some different things, figuring out how to backlog some of my hours that I worked this week. But now I'm gonna do at least a couple modules that are assigned to me so I can get started on them. Like I have a whole entire list of what I need to do this weekend. That is what we're gonna do right now. I'm still trying to figure out how to do the remote login thing. Like I'm not super fast at it, but it's getting there. I'm gonna work on this for a little bit and then packing for the ski weekend because I'll be skiing the rest of the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, <laughs> and then I work again Monday, Tuesday, and then I have state Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So much to do. So little time. Mm, I always forget about this double, double login. Good morning, you guys. Today is Friday, last day of the work week, but I actually forgot to film this morning because I have had a crazy morning trying to get stuff organized for my ski team and our training plan. So I ended up working on modules for about two hours today, which is pretty good. So I was able to clock in and do that and finish quite a couple modules, which reminds me, I need to grab either a picture of my thing. I might have to take a picture of what I have left. So I did, I've finished five things already. So we have some more stuff to do this weekend, but I'm gonna finish up this video because I'm sure it's crazy long. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I am trying to run up to the mountain so fast. So I'm all packed and ready, but give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more work weeks in my life. And today's question of the day is going to be, has it snowed where you live this year? Let me know down below. And do you like the snow when it does? Cause I love it. I think it's amazing, but it does cause a little bit of um, craziness here. We got through this week, we survived the first week and it was a honestly, wonderful week with a fun little plot twist. So we can't complain. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.